Hey guys, what's up? So, upon looking at you guys' comments, somebody had mentioned what's new in love coming in, and someone had said, What's going on for the rest of the three months of the year? I like that one. Let's find out. Not that I don't like the other one. I like the other one too. But I think I'm going to start with this one. What's going on for the rest of the year? Ooh, sorry guys. I'm eating an orange. You know me. I'm snacking all the time. Um, so we're going to do what's going on for the rest of the year for each zodiac sign. So I would suggest get comfortable. Get your favorite drink. Not that I'm condoning drinking, you know? Because, hey, your favorite drink could be milk. Grab some milk. Grab some uh, Ovaltine. When I was young, I used to drink Ovaltine. I loved it. Oh, it was so good. Ovaltine. Um, yeah, grab your favorite snack. Get in your favorite spot. Either in your bed, your chair. Get comfortable. Because I'm going to run through all of the signs. Uh, Aries through Pisces on what is going on. For the remaining time of this year like what's what's left i'm saying like what's left <laughs> some of us do feel that way though like what is left what else but let's not be like that because the universe has been very very gracious we must be grateful and show gratitude because um a lot of us dodged a lot of things that were meant to bring us down and um, look around you. They didn't. Look where you're sitting. It's probably better than six months ago. It's probably better than hell a week ago. All I know is every day it gets better than the last. So universe, thank you so much. We're so grateful. We show our gratitude towards you for helping us out always. We really appreciate all that you do for us. We ask that you please remove all obstacles from our way. Please help us understand our sole purpose. Please help us get to the destiny that you have written for us. Thank you so much for the lessons. Thank you so much for, you know, the experiences. We just ask that we continue to go further learning these experiences uh, without any trauma or pain attached to them. All right. All right. So more to be. Amen. Amen. All right. So what's going on with Aries for the rest of the year? what's going on for aries for the rest of the year guys if you're just catching up to this video <clears throat> just about to do the uh, zodiac signs each sign from aries to pisces and what's going on for the rest of the year so what's going on for aries please you know, just let me know what's going on for aries aries um you have a relationship coming in so for the rest of the year looks like aries is going to be in love you're going to be going out having a good time um, Aries also, um, you're going to be recognized. You got the star card and the seven of pentacles. You're going to be recognized. People are going to recognize you. If you've been putting the hard work in to be recognized, because I know a lot of Aries are um, very talented, very talented individuals. Um, so yeah, if you are thinking about putting a song out, putting a record out, putting a story out, doing something that you, you basically want to share it with the world, um, if you're working on that, it looks like it's going to be looking good. If you are looking for a relationship, that's coming in as well, too. So overall, it feels like it's going to be a good time for you. Um, you are, you may, you may feel like that you're not deserving of something or that you don't have something. And universe is telling you to, um, please don't be like that because that's only going to confuse you and delay you from the happiness that, um, that is actually waiting for you. All right, so it looks like the next, especially the next two months, it's going to be really good for you, Aries. Um, so if you're looking about signing that contract, I would say wait till the end of the year to sign the contract. Um, just get out of this uh, after after October, um, at the end of October, November time period, you can start signing contracts. Um, if there is a relationship that you want to get into, I would suggest do it towards the end of the year. If you do it now, it may be a false start, but it's like i said it's like false start is just a delay right 
eventually it will happen but um the su suggestion is or advice is just to wait to the end of the year because it seems like everything is taking off for you at the end of the year okay I feel like confusion is going to be gone um any type of illusion that you had in your mind about a certain situation it's no longer going to be there it's like you're going to have these clear thoughts coming in uh, going towards the end of the year uh the reason also why i'm telling you to wait till the end of the year is because we're going into a mercury retrograde and uh if you know like i know during mercury retrogrades it's best not to make life decisions so it's best not to start a relationship it's best not to start a new job take on a new contract because it might fall through it might be temporary so we don't want to um you know waver in the mites or it could have been should have been what if let's just wait till the mercury retrograde is over and then you can go ahead to uh, regularly schedule program okay so if you want to go into that relationship um because i have a feeling during this retrograde there is going to be somebody that's going to be coming to the uh, forefront of your mind um someone that you've been holding space for in your heart um and universe is saying just give it a little bit um at the end of the year you can you know start making your moves towards that all right so Aries, that's what's going on for you for the end of the year. Well, towards the end of the year. Hmm. Yeah, you're going to have an opportunity in relationships and partnerships. Again, they're just asking you to make sure you let go of tech, uh, toxic behavior and any negative pattern. Um, you don't want to bring that into um, the new year, okay? Going into next year, you don't want to bring that with you. So they're kind of saying, leave it here at the door, please. And then you can continue. You definitely got happiness coming in, emotional fulfillment. You got the Ten of Cups, so that sounds like it's gonna. It sounds like it's gonna be doing good, Aries. Let's see, anything else for Aries? Any obstacle Aries will be facing during this time period? Any obstacle that Aries will face during this time period? Oh uh, yeah, uh, the obstacle that you're gonna be facing, Aries, is gonna be surrendering to your heart, basically. Like you know, I kind of like. Um, I look at us like in the sense where. They're going to ask you, well, they, they being the universe is going to ask you to kind of like surrender to loving yourself, to love, to opening up your heart a little bit, surrendering and understanding that, you know what, it's okay to have a broken heart. Um, many people uh, use broken hearts to uh, make money. And how I, what I mean by that is um, pain is a beautiful art, okay? I myself, I write the best music um, or the best poetry or the best stories. I'm, I, I love writing. Um, when I am uh, heartbroken or when I'm sad. So they're saying that surrender to that feeling. Maybe you need to take that feeling and um, create something with it. Overall, it's telling you to surrender to the Three of Swords. In a sense, surrender to the fact that a heartbreak happens. Nurse it, you know, uh, reflect on it. Give it the time that it needs. Yeah, there you go. The Empress. You got the Hangman, Three of Swords, and the Empress card. Basically saying, Aries, love yourself, Okay. If you're just, you know, got out of a, a broken heart situation or a painful situation, right now it is the time to heal and love yourself as much as you can because you got to get ready for that relationship that's coming in. <laughs> I think that's what it is. It's basically telling you to like um, sit down, put a bandaid on, on, on what's uh, cut open, stitch it up, nurse it, heal it, understand it, under, under, who am I channeling? Understand it, um, feel it. You know, when we when we run from our feelings, you know, there's people out there. I'm not going to mention names. <laughs> um, no, I'm really not. Um, there's people out there that when their heart is broken, they do the most. Instead of sitting home and, and, and nursing it and, you know, like giving yourself that time to heal and acknowledging your pain and understanding like it's OK to, you know, hurt like oh, like say it. Oh, my heart is broken. I'm in pain. It feels so good afterwards when you say it. Just you sometimes you just have to say it loud, like, wow, it really hurts. Like what that person did to me really hurt. Um, it, what you're doing is you're acknowledging what happened. And once you acknowledge it, um, it kind of like sets a focal point um, in your journey. Because look, you stopped and you acknowledge like, oh, wow, that really hurt. But what am I going to do now? Now, now that I'm hurt, what, what do I do? What is it that I want to do? What's going to make me feel better? these are the questions aries or anyone else listening it doesn't have to be aries this is for everyone you that's what's the best thing to do is ask yourself sit down and be like okay what's well, gonna make me feel better right now is it gonna be food is it gonna be hanging out with my friends is it gonna be you know going out and and working out or going to you know like going to the gym or is it gonna go swimming um or is it is it playing sports or some type instead of just running and doing something right 
you know, to kind of like numb yourself from the pain that you're feeling. Acknowledge the pain, you know, let it know that you understand that it's there. And then tell it like, look, I'm, I'm going to help you. I'm, we're going to fix this because, you know, at the end of the day, it is you guys. You can heal your own selves. You don't have to depend on someone else to heal you. True healing comes from healing your own self because you know what it took to heal you. You know, you understand it. So I would say that's something that you need to uh, consider, Aries. Um, it seems like this the, the ending of this year is basically love yourself, love yourself. Because if you are able to love yourself truly and unconditionally, that is the only way you'll ever be able to offer love to someone else. Okay? All right. All right. There we go. Next up is Taurus. What is going on for Taurus? for the end of this year what's going on for taurus guys what is going on for taurus taurus energy what is going on for the taurus energy for the end of this year all right taurus it seems like um you could be separating yourself um from a younger energy or you could be behaving I don't want to say emotionally distant from this fire sign I feel like you're looking I'm just going to say it's a fire sign okay so it could be a Leo Sagittarius or Aries I feel like you're looking at this person like what the hell is wrong with you that's 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 like the vibe I'm getting. So Taurus, are you looking at someone like, what the hell is wrong with you? Like you're not bothered, but you're like, what? Like you know, it's like it's like that moment where Taurus is like, I really don't want to bother myself with this, but may God be with you. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Um, <coughs> it could be a fire sign, someone younger than you, or you could be just looking at your kids. Like what is it you do? What is it that you're doing, child? You could have a fire sign kid um brother sister sibling somebody that you but you're looking at them like what is going on with you child what is going on with you um or you could be looking at someone who's an adult who's extremely immature you're looking at them like yo what, what, are, what are you doing what are you doing like are you all right in the head um it, it also feels like this person or this situation could have done you wrong or you feel like you've been done wrong um also it could be that um an air sign possibly did you wrong or you're looking for your justice from the uh, air sign. Uh, overall, it is because you are not getting this justice or you feel like you haven't gotten this justice, this justice, this justice. Um, you are like, you're being cold. You're being like cold hearted in a sense. You know, very, very closed hearted. You're being very closed hearted, Taurus. And I think you need to check yourself on that. Yeah, please, Taurus, check yourself on that. As for the person, that fire sign or that person with that young energy, um, I feel like they are coming out of a time period where they are no longer stuck in their head. Um, either way, if that's you, Taurus, that you are no longer stuck in your head and someone is looking at you like, Taurus, what are you doing? Like, do you not care? And Taurus is like, oh, I don't care. I'm just going to have fun. I'm going to let my inner child play as much as they want. Or it could be that, Taurus, that an air sign is looking at you like, what are you doing? Um, where you know how I said that Taurus, you're going to be looking at somebody? Um, again, these readings are general, so take it however, which way it goes. Um, so, Taurus, someone can be looking at you, that you did them wrong. And now that you're like, you're being the king of pentacles, Taurus. That's the energy I'm getting from you. Uh, king of pentacles meaning um, you, you're good. You're, you're doing probably, you, either you own your own business, or you've been working somewhere for a very long time. So you're very stable in, in the finance area. Um, you're building new things or the things that you have built have already come into fruition and, and you're just sitting down hanging out like if you have a dog you're chilling with your dog right now like hanging out like okay end of summer gotta get back to work next week or whatever um but yeah you have labor day coming up too so i just feel like you're just gonna lay like sit back and you're gonna watch what your seeds look like in a sense like what your seeds have grown into so that's a good thing and i think there is someone from from a distance no why did i just say that maybe there is someone in the distance or maybe there's someone around you could be an air sign that's kind of looking at you like like very like 
you know she's weird like it's, it's kind of jealousy it's kind of like why not me so be careful with that one all right not that i have to tell you two tours because you guys are always protected um you're definitely protected in this situation yeah it, yeah it's definitely Taurus. it's someone that you've rejected in the past i think they're looking at you like you broke their heart okay so Taurus, don't worry about this just keep moving just keep doing you you know what i mean do not worry about no petty ass people talking about you broke their heart well then you know what you shouldn't have fucked with Taurus. you fuck with Taurus, you get a broken heart because i feel like Tauruses are so chill there's it's like you know how you have what like what is it the tabloids you never hear to the Taurus being on a tabloid you, you on the tabloids news right like those those you know those news i'm talking about when you're like shopping somewhere at the grocery store and you see the tabloids like <gasps> you know mel gibson ran away with goldie hawn or some shit <laughs> Um, so you never see Taurus on the tabloids. You, you Taurus does not come in the news. Taurus is, does not. Well, Taurus doesn't do anything to basically make them look stupid. You know, I really feel like Taurus is a very intellectual sign. Tauruses are also very, uh, very laid back and calm. They don't like people in their business. So that's number one. That's why you won't see them in the news. Um, they're very, very, um, like Tauruses who have heavy Aquarius in them, they're very friend oriented, very family oriented. That if you're not a friend that they grew up with, or or a family member um, that they're that they trust, you know, they, they'll just keep their business to themselves. And I feel like this is what you're doing, um, and it's making someone feel like like why why are you doing this? Let me in, Taurus. I want to know too. And Taurus is like, uh, no, no absolutely not like you need to like go away and let me go back to doing what i'm doing like i feel like this person might come and knock on your door and you're gonna be like um no one's home <laughs> oh man it, it, it could be someone um like i said that you rejected could be you know a past person that you rejected this person is in their ego that's that's one uh sign that i'll give you this person is in their ego they have some tor sort of tort they have some sort of mental problem i want to say like uh, how do you how do i say it like they're not all there in the head i feel like because of what happened between you two um they're very confused and that confusion is coming across as like because they don't know what they don't know the truth about what happened or they're thinking things in their head. This is why I'm, I'm calling them like they have had, they have mental problems. They're being so delusional that they're thinking of things in their head, um, basically to about you, and and that's what's making them. You know how when okay, this is what's going. On. They're sitting there thinking up of scenarios that are not even happening about you and them, and that's what's driving them crazy. While you're sitting there sipping your tea, <laughs> oh, you're sipping your tea, you're enjoying the breeze, you know, you're enjoying the, the weather, life is going good for you, you're enjoying your family, if you have children, you're enjoying your children, your work, everything is going good for you, but then you have this one salty person just looking at you in the corner like, why? And you, you're, you're not even paying attention, you know, you are not even paying attention, um, this is someone who was keeping their feelings to themselves. They are currently keeping their feelings to, to themselves at the moment. Um, they they have some type of hope or they could be an Aquarius. Um, yeah, they were someone that you dated. Definitely, a, if you didn't date them, they were definitely a friend or a soulmate. Okay, because um, they they basically, they're sad. They're sad that, that the connection ended between you two, okay? Well, oh well, act right. You know, you know what I mean? Act right. Because you know, a Taurus will cut you off. You have no idea how brutal the earth signs are. Um, they will cut you the off. So, yeah. So, let's see. You got the Empress. Again, a Taurus, you're loving yourself. You are sitting there loving yourself. You are no longer being a part of any third situation. If there was a third situation going on, third situation. If there was a third party situation going on, you see the truth. You know, you somehow either spirit brought this into light for you or you went to a tarot reader or, or your friend of your someone exposed somebody for having a third party situation. And where one day you were sitting there planting seeds about being with a certain individual, um, spirit came and said to you, um, I'm sorry, but this person is not your soulmate. This person is a, well, this person is your soulmate, but this is not the good kind of soulmate that we want you to be with. OK, Taurus, they're like, Taurus. We only sent this person to you so you can learn a lesson, okay, Taurus? Like, you really needed a lesson learning, and we didn't know what other way to teach you, but 
to break you down in a sense where we would send someone that you'd be attracted to that you would love them you would you know you would care for them and we figured bam and then we drop it on you because that's the only way it feels like that you would you would learn because you had to be impacted by this person and impact had to come from this situation or a certain individual in order for you to learn what you learned and the universe picked this person to do it or to be honest with you you probably picked this person to do it when you were signing your contract to come to this world as human isn't that amazing that you probably saw with this person a long long time ago before you were put into this body that you're in right now um to basically have this happen to execute this this lesson for you um because you really felt at one point that this person and you were in sync you guys were on the same frequency that you guys were vibing and then all of a sudden it's like no you're not like what happened it's like you looked at that person like do i even know you like who are you like did you like swap bodies with someone or like souls with someone so yeah so and this connection also kind of like left you out in the cold it really damaged your self-esteem taurus so if you're like i don't know who you're talking about think back to that person that friend that family member that really damaged your personality like damaged your self-confidence like you know where you like taurus says you know you guys look good which you guys do gorgeous by the way beautiful skin high cheekbones you know i taurus says they're just like i said they're beautiful anyways ruled by venus of course beauty is in, in venus so obviously you guys are beautiful so they basically made you feel like you weren't beautiful anymore and that's where the universe kind of felt like you know what don't do this to my child why are you doing this so it could have been something where the universe also saw that you were being too dependent on this person because this could be also an, an individual where as soon as you broke up with them and you walked away from them taurus money started coming in job opportunities started coming in like oh my god you actually felt better it's because it's that energy and this person don't be fooled is probably still pulling on your energy because if you feel them once in a while here and there or they reach out to you i would suggest block them you know what i mean because this person is going to cause you nothing but heartache oh what did i just say block them right we got the eight of wands so this person might be messaging you hence i already told you block them because you don't need that route um yeah it's this thing that if when this person messages you it's gonna cause more confusion taurus so be careful um so yeah so you going towards the end of this year is basically you figuring out that this person um is not the one okay so this person who is a friend family member um if it's a family member just distance yourself is this if it's a friend block them if it's an ex or something or someone that you dated or used to talk to on a romantic um level type thing well level type shit just just block them because this person is going to come back around and and they're not they're gonna be, i feel like it's more like revenge in a sense like oh you you dissed me back then or or you you turned me down back then and haha now you want me um no don't nobody want you yeah this person is very arrogant very arrogant tourists don't want you please go home by tourists got better things to do you know so tourists instead what you need to be doing is if you take my advice manifest you a better person you know someone who can take care of you financially emotionally physically in all those departments okay make sure they're not um lacking in any of that department and you yourself too taurus work on yourself and make sure that you are in lacking in any of the departments when it comes to yourself i always suggest date yourself be everything that you want from someone else to yourself first and then this way when it's offered from someone else you'll be able to kind of see like hey is that something i do for myself you know like you you want someone who treats you like you treat you now if you treat yourself badly i got no words for you so hence what i'm telling you is treat yourself so good that when you have someone come into your life treating you any less it's like a red flag automatically red flag like oh no mm -mm. no 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 thank you so i feel like uh taurus that's what you're going to be realizing going into the rest of this year all right that was a good reading i like that one Yes, this will be time stamped at the bottom. I will try my best to time stamp it. Because I do, do be forgetting sometimes. I do forget. All right, so next up. That was kind of cozy with Taurus, right? I, feel, I really feel like I got cozy with Taurus right there for a second. Um, I did get cozy, guys. <laughs> All right, so now we have Gemini. What's going on with Gemini for the rest of the year? Ooh, what is this card that just hit me in the face gemini you got some hope coming you got the star card you got a wish that's going to be coming true soon um it could be de dealing with something that um didn't work out for you before with a cancer sign 
Um, or if you're wishing to break away, Gemini, from a cancer and you want to dead the situation and you want to end it, it is going to be happening. So congratulations. I'm the only person in the world that congratulates people for when they break up. You know, when you break up with someone, let me tell you something. Maybe that was supposed to happen. Maybe your paths were supposed to just meet for a little bit and then you both go your separate ways because you learned the lesson that you needed to. Gemini, I think you need to hear that. So learn the lesson, guys, and let these people go so the people that are meant for you can come in. All right? All right? Okay, going back to Gemini's reading. Um, so you got the star card, six of wands upside down, the king of cups, and the ten of swords. When I see the star card and the six of wands, it makes me kind of think of um, someone hoping, right? Someone having all of their hope in one basket and then, bam, the basket broke and all your eggs fell. So I feel like something like that happened to you, Gemini, where you were looking at someone or you were feeling these emotions for someone, but they didn't go through with it. Or someone betrayed you or backstabbed you or ended it. Kind of feels like someone danced on your soul. Damn, Gemini, that, that's kind of scary. Like, wow. Like, someone really did that to you? Oh, if it's if it's this Cancer, shame on you, Cancer. How dare you do that to Gemini? Like, whoa. I'd be like, whoa. But, okay, so it was a third-party situation. Um, It feels like the third-party situation became exposed, got exposed. Someone learned the truth about something going on. Gemini, I think you either found out the truth about this person, um, that this person was either messing around behind your back or trying to kind of seems like they were telling you lies about something okay totally backstabbing you so now that you know the truth gemini i feel like you're moving on um so so this next three months for gemini is you are moving on my beloved yes congratulations good for you so whatever you were hoping for that went south right because you figured out that this person was um either in a third party situation or or there was an outside influence right because of the outside influence um this situation or this person um basically turned around and acted in a sense where they backstabbed you totally did you dirty like dirty to the dirty dirty to the dirty dirty okay but you found the truth out about this or you're going to find out the truth in the next three months and you're going to be moving forward moving forward in the sense you are on the chariot you're done you're out you're like where's my car bitch let's go we're out and because of this i feel like everything around you especially energy wise is moving into karma calm calmer waters okay um you are going to be coming out of this a little more mature so this lesson had to happen in order to make you mature which is not a bad thing gemini we all can be mature right so that's exactly what ended up happening um the situation aged you meaning it made you a little more mature because i see you now as the king of swords so go, for the next three months i feel like you're going to be acting like the king of swords um pretty much because i feel like you're no longer gonna like listen to your heart and be like oh you know they're a cool person no you're you're gonna like investigate next time you're gonna really find out are they really cool or are they just pretending to be cool because i feel like you you got jaded gemini because i feel like you were looking at someone and they painted a pretty picture but that picture wasn't really pretty once it rained because once it rained all the color came out right soon as the color drained from the picture like it got washed out you realized what the picture looked like and it wasn't pretty that's what i that's what i call people with what is it you got a pretty face but you got an ugly heart remember that gemini pretty face with an ugly heart no i could take that in, in so many different ways when you're dealing with people with pretty faces and ugly hearts all these people care about is clout all these people care about is popularity and i feel like you had this idea about this person where you thought this person was someone and it doesn't even have to be like this person was looking for clout or chasing clout i just feel like this person wasn't who they said they were and gemini when you found out that really broke your heart and i feel like that's where the betrayal kind of seeped into the situation like oh you are definitely not who you said you were and and again this is what's going to make you go cold a little bit which there's nothing wrong nothing wrong with having boundaries i i encourage boundaries especially when it comes to this emperor um like energy again emperor like energy is someone who likes to take charge someone who likes to be in control so it could be where this person is trying to take control or or gemini you could be trying to take you could be trying to take control of how you feel and how you want to move things because you have to be careful someone is coming back gemini okay so, like I said, if either you're trying to take control of your feelings 
or there is a fire sign, possibly Aries, coming back towards you. This is, again, if you want to know how do you know this is the person, it's the person that you walked away from because they hurt you really badly. All right, Gemini? So it seems like this person wants to come back. Once to a situation that they rejected and they thought nothing of it, they want to come back. And because you know what happened? They got confused. Wherever they went, the farther they went away from you and they did what they did to you, I think it bit them in the ass because they really got confused. And I feel like now they want to come back and give you an equal, like, you know, like an equal give and take, six of pentacles, like have a balance with you. Basically kind of treat you better than they treated you before. But I see this going into heartache. I see this going into heartache, Gemini, or this is the person that caused you heartache, where you wanted the equal give and take, you wanted that equally balanced, you know, type of feeling, I like you, you like me, yeah, we both like each other, but I feel like when you told this person that you like them, I don't think they felt exactly the same way that you did, so I feel like, again, this is someone that could have rejected you in the past, and now they're coming back around, um, to kind of have an energy exchange with you, but I feel like if this is the person that broke your heart, it's best to stay away, um, also, um it could be in a sense where this person could break your heart again and universe is telling you you know what you're sit you're you're like the queen of pentacles right now okay gemini job is good money is good skin is good hair is looking good all right stay like that don't let this energy back in because what's going to happen is again they're going to take from you because there was a lot of confusion a lot of illusions that this person produced and put in front of you that made you basically like you know get stuck inside of your head and the one thing like i feel bad for gemini's because number one gemini's are always thinking if anybody thinks that gemini doesn't care gemini doesn't think um yes gemini always puts their foot in their mouth yeah i have to call you out on that gemini but you actually you guys are critical thinkers you you and virgo you guys are like sister signs you guys analyze everything you guys like okay for instance, if I if a Gemini likes me, right, and, and I am, like, flirting with a Gemini, I have to be careful where I don't flirt in such a way where they think it's serious. I have to make sure that when I flirt at the Sagittarius, it's flirt. It's not that we flirt. We're just very nice people, and we like making other people feel good. So when we're around Geminis, me personally, I try to make sure that I don't s send mixed messages because Geminis hate mixed messages. So how do you not send a mixed message to Gemini? Easy. You tell the Gemini that you like them. Or if you don't like them, you say, hey, Gemini, we're friends and I like you just as friends, meaning there's no chance that I'm going to sleep with you or talk to you or do anything like that with you. Bam, right there, Gemini will stop. They will stop their endeavors that they're having their head about you. They will stop thinking about what to text you and they'll just move on. And it's very easy for Gemini to move on. The only reason why Gemini gets stuck on something is or Gemini likes, you know, has, like has these feelings that last long for someone is because you keep pulling them back in. You know, like they, like Gemini is a very sweet sign. They don't, they, they kind of look at it like, like, well, what if this could have happened between us? You know, so that thought in their head keeps them hanging on. So don't keep the Gemini hanging on. Or Gemini, if you're keeping someone hanging out, don't do that. Just kind of cut the string, let it go, okay? And be the queen of pentacles. Be be in the position where it doesn't matter if you're with someone. It doesn't matter if you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. It doesn't matter if you're single. You're happy with who you are, okay? Because that's the only way you're going to move forward and you're actually going to be happy for the remaining time period of this year. Um, and big, 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 um, shot, like, big, like, emphasis on treating your inner child be your be the inner kid like okay be that child that you wanted to be when you were a kid like you know that child that you hid from everybody that grew up very suddenly and overnight you had to grow up and, and take care of things and be responsible they're saying to please go back especially this weekend for labor day and act like a child do childish things not to hurt people but like dress the way you want eat the food that you want to eat if it hurts you if you're lactose intolerant please don't let's be smart about this people basically what i'm saying is have fun let the inner child run around for a little bit okay go frolic in the park or some shit gemini go go dance with your shadow go go swim with the ducks and then you know what happens going into next year going towards the end of this year into next year you got the ten of pentacles bam family bam contracts bam opportunity bam money long term bam bam there we go there we go see all right gemini that's for you let's move on to cancer that was
was a good reading, Gemini. So basically, they're trying to tell you is like towards the end, like, like, ugh. just let it go, and don't let this person back in, especially if they they pull on you, okay? Or especially if you know they broke your heart. Like, who am I to tell you that? You're gonna do what you want, Gemini. But just just take care of yourself. Don't hurt yourself more than you have to. Cancer, what's going on with Cancer? How how long is this already? Th oh, half hour. Not bad. Half hour and I already covered Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer. Okay, now we're doing Cancer. Cancer. Fire sign. Not waiting anymore. So you're not waiting on a fire sign anymore. You're not waiting on a king of wands anymore. I mean, I'm sorry, a knight of wands. Nobody likes knight of wands anyway, Cancer, because knight of wands are very flighty. They're in and out. So it could be that you are um, done 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 planning or manifesting or waiting on someone to come in for you um this could be a person uh i want to say red hair i don't know why i just got red hair something with a red hair you could be can cancer you could be dealing with someone with red hair or cancer you could have red hair um doesn't mean that you know this reading is for cancer with red hair it's just that red hair popped into my head as i was looking at this card um again the knight of wands is someone who's in and out this is a good person to date, but when you ask them for commitment, a knight of wands will not give you a commitment. A king will give you a commitment, okay? So just remember to be, just be confident, Cancer. Don't wait. Don't wait on anyone, especially if it's a fire sign. Let them go. Um, what they're saying is you also be confident within yourself. And this whole thing, like, look, see the, what it is they're telling you is you, you, this fire sign did not make you happy. Whatever the situation was with this fire sign, it did not make you happy. And you keep revisiting it, Cancer. Oh, obviously, it's a Cancer. What else can I say? How many times do you have to tell Cancer to let shit go, but they never listen? I'm sorry, guys. Let me get back to the reading. I was just ranting on my own on the, um, just for a second. Um, so, Cancer, you keep coming back to the situation in your head. And Universe is saying, you got to distance yourself. You got to let it go because you're the only one who's breaking your heart right now okay you're the only one who's being um you have a lot of options around you but you're refusing to see them okay yes we know that you don't want to wait anymore yes we know that you block this person out your life you don't want to deal with them anymore but but this whole attitude of woe me and it's never gonna happen that needs to go okay because that is a really cyclical cycle that you keep putting yourself in cancer okay so cancer this one falls on you this is your fault um you know that this person was toxic you knew that this wasn't the situation for you you know how much it hurt you and how much it pained you to be with this person um even though you had a few moments of happiness overall it was just shit so the universe is saying please 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 for the love of god cancer we're so tired of watching you go through this cycle for the 568th time please close the door and just move on okay I don't know what other way I can say this because you're very dependent on this, okay? You keep thinking about the loss. You that that's where you're stuck right now. And because you keep thinking about the loss cancer, it's the reason why um none of your wishes or your manifestations are coming true. And I, I hate to be I hate to say it like this because you're gonna be like, Well, who are you to say that? It's honestly it's not me saying it, it's the card saying it, okay? You got like look. You got the three of wands and you got the eight of wands upside down. Three of wands upside down and eight of wands upside down along with the emperor upside down, which is telling me that you blocked out an Aries or, or someone um, that's an emperor energy, right? Because this person didn't want to give you a relationship. Ten of pentacles upside down. Ten of um, the sun upside down, which tells me um, that this, this the, it's it's done. It's The sun has gone down. Has gone down. Oh my God, who the fuck am I channeling? The sun has gone down on this situation, and this is something that's um, karmic, um, and and it's it's nine of pentacles up all oh, with the wheel of fortune upside down right after the sun card upside down. Um, it's basically saying that this is a karmic situation. Nine of pentacles upside down is saying that you're very dependent on the situation. Ten of swords talking about this person betrayed you. Nine of cups talking about you're overindulging in this, which is not coming true, and then the king of wands upside down. There we go. There we go. King of Wands upside down talking about you need your confidence to boost back, okay? And thinking about the situation over and over is not going to help. So, Cancer, for you guys, 
for the rest of this year you really got to let go of this uh feeling that you that you have this woe me this this um whoever whatever you're keep whatever you're not letting go of cancer eight of cups there we go you need to walk away from it and find yourself okay all right yeah again the knight of wands came out walk away from the knight of wands walk away from this fire sign walk away from these feelings of emotion or passion okay from this person that's in and out of your life cancer cancer i think i'm just gonna move on to the next sign which is leo because i don't cancer you're gonna you're just gonna learn on your own okay it's not that i have anything against you but i hate repeating myself and nothing personal nothing against you guys but i feel like this whole reading as i'm pulling the cards it's all about you needing to walk away from something you needing to close the door on something and i feel like i'm just gonna keep repeating myself because it's just that's all it is you you already know what to do cancer you're very intuitive i don't even know why you watch readings <laughs> like you already know what's going on again the eight of wands upside down they're telling you to walk away and block the situation or you need to walk away because the situation is not for you and the situation is completely blocked okay again it's with an aries you need to let an aries go cancer this aries is not for you i feel like like what, what do i want to tell cancer hold on one second cancer it's like i'm trying to think of words to tell you okay I can't, like, let's see. What can I tell Cancer? All right. How about this, Cancer? Lights out. I'll dim my shine for you, but only if it means you can breathe again. This person don't deserve that. This is, uh, by the way, this is from a book called uh, This Will Set Me Free by Kristen Michelle Elizabeth, okay? Um, in the poem, she talks about how she needs to shine. She needs to dim her shine in order for someone else to breathe. I don't believe in that. Cancer, stop dimming your shine so someone else can breathe. Let them choke. Like, this person clearly hurt you so much that you blocked them. When a cancer blocks you, they're, that means they're completely done with you okay so i see that there's no communication between you people all right between you and this person that you're thinking about cancer there is no communication so i feel like for the rest of the year this person is going to try to come back but they're asking you that when this person comes back to walk away from them okay or walk away from this situation or walk away from this thought that you have in your head towards someone um, because that situation is what is blocking you from moving forward okay or blocking you from walking away there's some type of tie or something that you got going on for like that they, that you're gonna or if you i think you already know about this cancer but you're gonna see it in the next three months because even even the energy i'm feeling is a very frustrating energy it's like a well why why can't i get things started why is this happening for me well cancer you have to ask yourself what is it that you're doing instead of asking why ask uh universe what can i do to make this better what do I need to do to let things, like, what do I need to let go? Because for the next seven months, while Mars is sitting in Gemini, this is going to be a crucial time where things are going to come up to the surface that you need to let go of and the universe is pointing out to you that you need to let go of. And if you don't let go of them, I think it's only going to get worse. You know, like, the it's going to make you so uncomfortable. All I know is, guys, word of advice, this is for everybody listening, once things start getting uncomfortable for you in a, at a job, in a relationship, even at home, that means it's time to move on. This is the universe telling you, I'm making it uncomfortable on purpose because you're being stubborn and you don't want to move. So I'm just going to make it really tight in here for you that you have no other choice but to break out of the box. Hint, hint, break out of the box. The universe just wants you to break out of the box, Cancer. So don't personalize or internalize anything that this individual did or this situation did. The only thing it did is it taught you what you needed to learn. And hopefully you learn that lesson and you're able to move forward, okay? So I'm going to leave you with that, Cancer, and we're going to move on to Leo. I was like, nope, you got to let him freaking choke. Let them choke. Who cares? Don't matter. I don't care how much you love them, Cancer. I don't care. I don't care. 
You gotta let it go. You gotta go. Like, you gotta choose you. Don't argue with me. You gotta choose you. I don't, I'm not hearing it. I don't like arguments. Don't argue with me. I said what I said. Choose you. Choose you. Love yourself. Move the fuck off. Leos, what's going on with the Leo game? Leos just had their, uh, Leos just, um, Leos just went through it. Like, now how the mutable signs are about to go through it. Okay, so how Virgo, Pisces, Gemini, Sagittarius, and Libra are going to go through it. Like, they're going to get their ass handed to them for the next seven months. Uh, Leo actually went through it. Leo, Aquarius, um, all the fixed signs went through it already. Uh, this, the, the, the past seven months. Uh, so, Leo, past seven months ago, how was it? Did you finish up a lot of things? Did you did you accomplish all the things you wanted to accomplish? Because if you did, congratulations. Um, a lot of Leos graduated school. A lot of Leos uh, finished their degrees. A lot of Leos um, finished their classes, their certifications. Congratulations to you, Leos. A lot of Leos also got new jobs. Um, this was a time period for the fixed signs to be standing where they're supposed to be standing because after all that training, right after all that training and then you going into battle and actually showing um the universe the things that you learned so you can apply them like you basically showed the universe look you taught me this and look how i applied it so if you are the leo that moved away from a situation if you're a leo that um rejected someone from the past that came back in because i know there were people coming back in for leo from the past and you basically said no to them congratulations you can pass go to the next stage okay as they would say in Korea, hapka. Hapka, you passed, all right? You passed, Leo. You're good to go. I love you, Leo. You passed. Good for you. Vadia, vadia. Mabakhan, mabakhan. I don't know how you say pass in Spanish or I would say it in Spanish. So, Leos, what's going on for you? going on for Leo's for the end of this year what's going on for my lions can I get three cards for my lions yeah 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 what, what do we got what do we got situation that was defeated alright okay 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 alright like dominoes oh like dominoes oh like dominoes One by one, I'm dropping down like dominoes. Oh, it's like one by one, you just drop them down. One by one, you took them. You took them, Leo. You took them. All right, it looks like Leo's. Leo, I feel like there was a situation that kind of left you um, feeling defeated. So you're not. I feel like you, you're not hurt. It's like your, your pride just got bruised. That's all it was. Your ego got bruised. That's all. So you're not hurt. You're not broken. Nothing's wrong with you. You're fine. Everything works. <laughs> Everything works. No worries. Um, you're learning what it means to love from afar, Leo. This is what you're going to learn. I already, I'm seeing it in the spread already. You're gonna, the, the, the next three months of this year are going to teach you what loving someone from afar means. Um... And this is a good thing. Um, it's called having a boundary, meaning I love you. I, I will always love you. I will always care about you. But I am not allowing you back into my energy again. Like, I don't hate you. I don't want anything bad to happen to you. I just want you to stay away from me because I do love you. Because I do care for you. And I don't want to snatch you up and punch you. So please just stay away. Like, it, it's, a, it's a situation in the sense where you knew this person had other people involved or they were listening to other people, and that really hurt you because that's what defeated everything. Either, Leo, you listened to a lot of other people um, or they were outside, outside influences, a lot of outside influences, I see, because there's so many people here. But you're like, you know what? I'm going to take my feelings. I'm gonna go sit by the water. I'm gonna write in my journal. I'm gonna I'm gonna still look at you like, oh, okay, that was like the happiest moment in my life. You know, the few moments that I had with you that were happy. But I'm also gonna remember what the truth is, okay? Because you're go it's a knight of swords. You're going towards the truth. 
okay so you're going towards the truth the truth is in a sense where you're done being part of third party situations you're done giving your time to people who are not fully giving their time back to you. Um, you're also experiencing your self-confidence coming back. Um, you, you're, you're dancing. You're dancing in the rain, Leo. I feel like the next three months you're going to be dancing in the rain. Okay? Like you finally found yourself and you're dancing in the rain. Well, you do have a situation where someone may be coming back to you to apologize. Um, but... I don't think you're going to take them back, Leo. I don't think that you want to have anything to do with them. You do have a collaboration coming towards you with uh, three other people, or there could be three other people that want to date you or want to be with you, um, but you are just walking away from it, um, especially this this one fire sign, this this emperor-like energy. You're, you're walking away from it this month. I feel like, again, the, the next three months for you is understanding what loving someone from afar means where you literally it literally means exactly what i'm saying i'm going to love you from here because when i love you from up close or when i try to love you up close it hurts me more so i'm gonna sit my ass here and keep loving you till that love goes away and when that love goes away i'm going to you know start what i need to start and it's okay to do that leo it's absolutely okay this doesn't mean that you jump into another relationship it doesn't mean that you know you start doing things to to suppress your feelings no this is actually acknowledging your feeling and, and, and reminding yourself look i do like you i do care about you because you know what? a lot of times what leo's do is if you hurt them and they really really cared about you they start lying to themselves like i don't like you i don't care about you why would i do that because you hurt me when it's okay like i was telling another sign um it's okay to say i was telling aries it's okay to say oh my god you hurt me and that really really hurt like oh that that really hurt like why would you do that it's okay to say that out loud because i feel like when you say that out loud you're you're acknowledging your pain okay so i feel like because you're acknowledging your pain leo and you're actually letting it um help you heal right you're understanding that okay you know what you're not the person I thought you were or the idea I had of you. I still love you. I still care about you, but I'm going to move on, okay? And you can do whatever it is that you need to do because I'm going to do whatever it is that I need to do. And if it's meant for us to be together, we will be together. But for now, I am focusing on me. This is what Leo is saying for the rest of the three months. Leo is like, no, it's me. I choose me. If it's between me and you, I choose me. Um, and it's okay, Leo. I want to congratulate you on choosing yourself because that is exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Um, walking away from things that don't make you feel comfortable, that's good. Walking away from things that hurt you, that's good. Walking away from people that hurt you, situations that hurt you, things that make you feel uncomfortable. If, you, if it's not for you, just walk away and you will know that because it doesn't feel right. So I feel like that's what you're learning for the next three months, Leo, that it's okay. It is what it is. I do feel defeated. I feel like, you know, I failed. But it's not It's not failure. It's It's actually victory because... I don't have to deal with you anymore you know what's what's better like sitting there being miserable with someone oh but you're in a relationship oh but you belong to someone but you get treated like shit you're miserable you're not truly fully happy so it's better to just be by yourself and if you know there's a pressure of someone coming back in with you trying to work with you just tell them look i need some time like fam give me some time i need to get my thoughts in order i need to get myself in order and once i'm back to who i was then let's see if this happens and trust me if that person really does care about you right or if that person is meant for you look i'm not saying to tell someone to wait for you all i'm saying is tell someone you do what you need to do because i need to do what i need to do right now when i'm done doing what i'm doing let's let's circle back around okay if that person's willing to circle back around later with you it's fine do it do the damn thing but if they don't then that tells you right there this person wasn't meant for you okay all right, because I keep saying there is someone that's going to come back. Um, they might pressure you into going into a relationship. Just tell them to take it easy. Be honest with them. Tell them what you went through. You know, you have a story to tell, Leo. Tell them what you went through. And I'm telling you, guarantee you, communication is key. A lot of people don't believe me when I say that. But if you open up that mouth instead of just eat, using it for food, <laughs> you will communicate what you need and what you want. And the other pe people on the other side of that communication, right? If they can't provide it for you, they'll tell you. Make it to a point where they tell you, like, look, just be like, look, I need this, this, and that. Like, as a Leo, you're like, I need security, I need reassurance, and I need love and affection. I just need love and affection. Can you provide that? 
and the person says to you yeah i can all right come on let's go we could do this but if the person says no i can give you these two but that third one i can't give you then leo then that's up to you to decide can you survive with the other things and knowing you know you can't you need all of that and i don't blame you because absolutely you need all of that you have every right to want all of that and need it because that's that's how it's supposed to be all right all right leo so that's what's going on for you guys for the ending of this year i hope you guys like that virgo moving on to virgo i wanted to kind of like fly through these but i feel like the information is so good i don't want to fly through these virgo i just saw a tower card so are you going through a tower moment virgo you might be ending something or going through an ending i also see a chariot yeah you're definitely moving forward for something virgo you're finally putting something aside and being like this is it five 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 and three 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 on the clock all right yeah virgo you're moving on moving on up are you moving to the east side virgo to the east side sitting at the dock of the bay or are you moving to the bay area are there virgos moving to the bay area yeah you're no longer waiting for this um this relationship to come through you realize that it's just full of deceit someone was sitting secrets and it's just not yeah it's not for you virgo you're seeing it so the ending of this year is you were in your head you wanted something to work out but it cost you your confidence um you wanted to go back to this person but you'd rather do it alone or this person wanted to come back to you but you'd rather do it alone i hear that song from i can't remember this one was saying but she goes i'd rather be alone than unhappy um superwoman i think that's what it's called superwoman every morning something like that i put your juice like your breakfast on the table are you having breakfast right now virgo why am i thinking about this are you thinking about breakfast you thinking about some orange juice are you drinking some orange juice are you drinking that oj juice um yeah you're you're someone wants to come back in virgo but i or you might want to go back to someone you want to return to someone but i don't i think it's somebody that you've been manifesting um but i feel like it's been an illusion like this person is not for you this person is full of um ah yeah this person got issues either you got issues virgo or this person got issues and they're saying no um virgo you really need to come out of the lack mentality whatever happened in the past happened in the past you need to go forward and start um planting your seeds okay really really need to get rid of some toxic behaviors or toxic patterns Virgo, if this is not you, then then just know it's not you. It could be the person that you're dealing with or you're thinking about. But I'm just going to read the cards like I'm reading them. There is a Scorpio um, energy, a uh, Scorpionic energy to me is the death energy. Not that someone is dying, so be careful, Virgo. You're going to be fine. Um, this is more of death and rebirth. Like, you are ending something so something new can begin for you, okay? You're probably ending something in the sense where you're no longer going to be in your head about it, right? Or you're not going to um, be going back and forth i'm trying to make a decision on you know what to do next i feel like it's just you're gonna let it flow and you're gonna start working on yourself because i feel like you're blocked from some type of passion like there's no passion right now either you're blocked or there is a fire sign that has blocked you virgo and you're in separation from them and this person might be being really cold to you where you want an equal give and take with this person but a uh, universe is saying that no this fire sign or this queen of wands is not interested okay and you need to understand that in order to close the cycle out whoever this person is that um you're like it's like an unhealthy obsession i'm not gonna lie Virgo, you are you are obsessing over someone or you keep thinking about someone and universe is saying nope this is not it this is not your person hello virgo not your person um please stop thinking about this person so we can close the cycle and give you someone better um this could be a person that is doing this to you virgo where the universe is telling them that virgo is not your person please move forward and love yourself because no both of you people are not loving yourselves or this could be you virgo again guys i don't know if it's virgo or not like i said i'm just reading the card eh, it could be virgo virgo you need to love yourself more so yeah virgo this is you you're obsessing over someone or you're thinking about someone and the universe is like stop it let it go let this person go this is not your person i think you knew this yeah this because how do you know this this is the person i'm talking about this person just kind of cut you off blocked you went ghost on you went cold on you 
you are like standing there reaching your hand out to this person but every time you think about this person it's like you get more problems in your life so that's kind of the universe telling you like every time you think about this person i'm just going to create more problems in your life so virgo if that's happening to you stop leave this person alone it's not worth it because this person is also making you um very um like your 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 emotions are not balanced okay you need to balance your emotions you need to guard your heart in a sense um or just guard yourself from the situation or the thoughts that you're having um you stop planning or this person is not planning anymore you're not planning anymore i think you're finally now you know what it is i think you're gonna finally figure it out within the next two months and you're gonna you're gonna stop the planning because i think you're gonna finally come to the truth and you're gonna surrender virgo you're gonna surrender to this you're gonna be like all right i tried and i tried and, and virgo listen you try you try. it's okay it's just not for you okay it's like you bought a lottery ticket and hoping that you would win but you didn't okay it's okay you could buy another lottery ticket you could date someone else maybe the next person you date might be for you okay like yeah because you have um basically the nine of cups upside down next to the lover's car like there was there was a wish fulfillment you wanted from this connection and it didn't happen instead you got betrayal or you gave them someone stabbed someone not physically i hope not oh god no um but someone did something very deceitful for the other person and now i feel like someone is conflicted but there's another person that's just moving forward because the uh, because you're seeing the tower card didn't i say virgo that i saw the tower card when i started pulling your cards so virgo yeah you're going you're probably going through a tower moment in a sense where the um, universe is making you like forcing you to let go of this person Okay, so the next three months, Virgo, you are definitely going to be going through transformation where you're going to be leaving behind that person that wasn't for you, okay? That's what I'm getting from them, and they're not giving me any more about this, Virgo, that you really need to just kind of move forward. There's an opportunity that's going to come for you, but it's not going to be with this person. And if you keep going after this person, I feel like you're going to miss the opportunity that's coming for you. You're just going to put yourself on a, on a delay, okay? I'm not saying that it's never going to come in for you, but as soon as you decide to let go your 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 manifestations will come true yeah you gotta you gotta get out of this fog Virgo. moon card upside down you're, you're gonna start seeing the truth secrets are gonna start coming out you're gonna start understanding and i also feel like like i'm getting hot all of a sudden it could be virgo where someone is using some type of dark magic either you are or this person is and they it's like somebody wants you to have unnecessary burdens okay or you want someone to have unnecessary burdens and i got the seven of swords again and usually when you start sweating out of nowhere, it's, it's the effects of some, like, of magic. Like, people like myself, we're very susceptible to energy. We're very sensitive to it. So when we pick up on things like that, like, especially the yeah, other readers, um, if you're listening, um, if you are a sensitive like myself, you know, out of nowhere, you start feeling hot and you start sweating like I am right now. Like, I just feel really warm. That means either someone is upset with you. So Virgo, someone is either upset with you or you're upset with someone because something is just not going somebody's way. And this person is probably resorting to doing things that are of the lowly faction, which I mean is doing undesirable things like uh, playing with magic that they should not be with doing. You know what I mean? Magic is a beautiful thing depending on how you use it. I, I don't like it when people use magic to hurt other individuals or stop other individuals' um, pathways because magic is such a beautiful thing you can use it to heal you can use it to bring um you know glory you can use it to bring happiness why use it to do that then you really just take the magic and and that's what i'm saying virgo you have to be careful because if you're doing this to someone it is going to come back to you and your burdens are going to get even worse like i think i mentioned it where every time you think about this person um something breaks or something happens or there's a bill you have to have to pay or i think whoever is doing this to you that's what happens to them that every time they go and they throw negative energy at you something bad happens to them or Virgo, it could be you where you're throwing negative energy at someone and then bam, you turn around two seconds later, something bad is happening to you. So the next three months, you're going to learn that it's not necessary. Either you need to let go of this person who's doing this to you or um, you need to stop doing this to this person and let them go. All right. I don't judge. I really don't care what's going on. I'm just giving you the message. OK, like I don't care what you're doing. Just don't do it to me. If you do it to me, I send it back to you times three. All right. Because my motto is, whatever anybody is sending to me that does not align with my purpose or my higher self, I send it back to them times three, wrapped in peace, love, light, and divine justice. So mode it be. That's my motto. All right? All right. Anything else for Virgo? Anything else for Virgo? Yeah, Virgo, you're walking away. You are walking away. Cups are spilled. Bottles are all over the place. You're like, you know what? I'm walking away. 
you don't care anymore Virgo. or for the next or going into this the next three months you definitely are not going to care anymore i feel like you're no longer confused and making a decision you know the decision you're feeling very hopeful in the next three months i feel like you are not not going to take the journey um with this with this situation that confuses you i feel like you are going to walk away from the burdens good good see virgo see see that i like this for you going forward i feel like if you drop whatever it is that you're involved in you will find the balance that you're seeking okay the universe wants to give everybody something okay and I, I, like i'm not picking on only virgo or the person who's doing this to virgo like look bad intentions right listen to this hear me clearly bad intentions only give you bad results good intentions give you good results so if you have intentions behind anything that you're manifesting this goes for everyone just check your intentions if your intentions are well you know that they're, they're they're geared toward hurting someone um making someone you know delay in something that's not your job that's not what you were you are you're here to do you're here to live your life and let other people live their life okay so that's a, so you know you will you will find that balance so if you feel someone's interfering in your happiness virgo you're going to realize that you're going to drop this person like a hot potato and virgo if you're interfering in someone else's life the universe is going to drop you like a hot potato okay and because you get that drop whoever gets this drop is going to find the balance virgo you're going to find your balance regardless within within the the you know the later part of this year within the next three months basically i do have a feeling that um you probably want to apologize to someone there could be a sagittarius that you want to apologize to let's see and you want to work things out with them going towards the future but the universe is not allowing that to happen there's no passion there there's no nothing there okay so yeah there you go virgo sorry about that so if there is someone like a sagittarius um that you want to apologize to or a sagittarius wants to apologize to you the universe is saying no they're keeping you guys apart for a reason because you guys are not good for each other okay yeah once you walk away from this oh here we go your your feelings are clearing out oh here we go you're starting to think with your you know with more of an emotional uh Im mature mindset instead of an emotionally immature mindset all right virgo that's for you oh i just got tired virgo like damn that just that just straight me i call my power back i call my energy back from that reading wow that really made me tired seven seven on the clock see this is why reading some signs ugh, i don't like it nothing against you virgo it's just that you guys you guys energy pulled on me a lot or whoever that was doing that magic shit on you or if you're doing magic virgo that shit's heavy not cool so i just called my power back from that shit and my energy back again don't take it personal i just i just say it how it is all right libra and it's so funny i just saw the justice card libra you're getting your justice <laughs> That's good. I feel happy for you, Libra, that you're getting your justice. Libra, there's a relationship that's calling for you that you're going to be going into. So, Libra, if you're single, the next for the next three months, you are going to be getting cuffed, okay? Yep, wish fulfillment. Relationship is starting. Someone's going to be coming into your life, Libra. Oh, this is good. Guys, don't get jealous of Libra, but Libra so far, by far, has the best reading. Um, you have the Four of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, and Ten of Cups. I can't make this shit up. It doesn't get any better than this. Um, Libra, so you are um, in a really. If you're in a relationship, there's nothing but good times coming up ahead. If you're not in a relationship, that means you're about to get into a relationship or work with people that are going to be very fun. They're, you're going you're gonna to feel at home with these people, okay? Or this person that you're meeting, you're going to feel at home with them. The only thing I am seeing is that this this situation that you're getting into may not be traditional. So, where, you know, where you're religious and you're church going, this person may not be church going. Or if you're not church going, this person may be church going. So one of you is, is the opposite of the other, okay? But that's okay. It, it doesn't matter. This is not going to stop anything. You're still going to be moving on. They're only telling you to be careful, Libra, that when you do go into this relationship, that don't forget yourself. Don't put yourself second. Don't give all your control to the other person. Libras, we know what you do. Once you fall in love with someone, you forget everybody else. They're telling you not to do that this time around. Remember you, that you are your own person. You have a life too. And kind of do it that way. Keep a balance, okay? As much as you guys talk about you like things balanced, live by it, okay? Apply it to, to your life as well too. So I do have this energy here where you might be, like I said, you might be giving up control. You might feel like things are out of control. You might feel like that you're not giving yourself enough time. 
um they're just telling you to just kind of like let go of this this negative pattern that you do and again remember how i said balance yourself be with this person date or be in a relationship but also be with yourself as well too okay yeah don't be confused you're 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 kind of like i feel like you're not uh within the next three months i feel like you're not going to be seeing the bright side of things and that's what the universe wants you to see because you have a lot of good cards here especially if you're going in, oh okay if you're going into a relationship or start if you're starting to date someone the universe is saying please don't bring the past into your your future relationship find the balance find the balance or you could be dating a sagittarius okay libra you could be going back to a sagittarius or a sagittarius could be coming back to you all right I feel like both of you are going to kind of confess your confess your feelings to each other and then you're both going to start moving towards the truth. I think both of you are kind of stuck in your head right now or whoever this person is that's coming towards you Libra is in their head right now on on how whatever they're doing, I feel like they're in their head. They're not ready for a relationship, but I feel like the universe is going to bring you guys together. Um and then you're going to you're actually going to you're the next yeah, the next 7 weeks weeks the next 7 weeks to 7 months you guys are going to be working on this relationship together. And it's going to be an equal give and take. That's awesome. So when both of you come together, you'll notice money for both of you is starting to come in. This is how you know you, you're you with a good person or good energy when both of you are making money. Like, you know, like you start dating someone and then they tell you, say to you, oh, I got a job. Like, you know, I'm going to like to explain to you like this. Say you meet someone. They didn't have a job. But then when you met them, within a week of you knowing them, they find a job. Now, within a week of you knowing them, you find $5. You get a coupon. You start getting, like, you know, people just start giving both of you money. Like, hey, both of you getting, you know, recognized. That is a good combination of energy. That's what we want. We want both ourselves and the people we love to succeed. So look for that, Libra. But if you find someone where you date them and your car breaks down, they get a flat tire. You both get sick from, you know, going on one date together. That is not the person. That means your energies are clashing, okay? I feel like someone needs to know this. So, like, just think about it for a second, Libra. Is there anybody in the past that you dated, and every time you dated them, you got sick? Like, every time you went out with them or you were around them, you ended up getting sick, stomach ache, the flu, a cold, a headache. That person is not for you. Let me tell you something, man. I used to go, I used to really like this guy back in the day, right? And every time I used to go around him, my nose used to get stuffy. And I used to get a headache. I didn't understand that his frequency wasn't good for me. That's why I was constantly getting, um, whatchamacallit, constantly getting sick around him. And it's like, you know how you need a humidifier to be around someone? <laughs> I needed a portable humidifier every time I got around this boy, I swear to God. I think I was allergic to him. But as soon as I stopped talking to him or I stopped dealing with him, I could breathe better. So now I look for that. Like if I go out with someone, even if it's friends or if I'm with family members or if I'm on a date, I check my environment. I check how I feel. Like, how are you feeling? You feeling nervous? You feeling anxiety? Can you breathe? Like, do you smell something funny? Check on those things, guys. Be in your body. Please be in your body because that is the only way you'll be able to see if what you're dealing with is aligned with you or not. And obviously, you know, when something's not aligned with you, it doesn't sit right with you. It's like it's like sometimes when you eat a certain type of food, it doesn't go with you well. So what do you do? We're not going to talk about what you do, but, you know, you know what happens when, when food doesn't sit well with you or food doesn't go with you the way you want it to. You shouldn't eat that food, right? So there you go. Same thing with this with this situation. Just just feel it out. Please don't don't bring your past experiences into your present. Um, the universe is being very, very um, kind of like like repeating themselves on that like do not bring past experiences into the present experience okay but it will work out for you libra okay okay libra all right moving on am i done yet scorpio what's going on with scorpio scorpio what's going on with scorpio Scorpio, you're separated from someone. Could be an air sign. Um, and I feel like this, it's keeping you up at night. Oh, poor Scorpio, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, Scorpio, you're separated from someone right now or you, um, you're you you're on vacation from someone. You're not talking to someone. Or you could be on vacation yourself. And 
you're in your head while you're on vacation you're having nightmares or you need to take a break leave uh scorpio did i say libra before i'm sorry i need to clear out libra's energy um scorpio you could be taking a break from something and you're being pulled to someone or you you cut communication off with someone and you're in your head about this now now you're having nightmares like you feel like you but it didn't work out it's, it's something that didn't work out so it was a a, a miss a missed connection like you thought it was a connection, but there was no connection there. So I feel like you're waiting, Scorpio. What are you waiting on? Waiting on the Pisces. Could be a Pisces that you're waiting on, or you're waiting on this person to surrender to you. Scorpio, I swear to God. I need you to surrender to me now. No, Scorpio. No, you don't need anybody to surrender to you. Um, Yeah, this person. Hold on, guys. I was just talking about my nose getting stuffy when I was around that person. That person was a Scorpio. Ah, now my nose is getting stuffy. Why did I even bring him up? Ah. Sorry, guys. All right, so, yeah, Scorpio, you, you're, I feel like, yeah, like I said, you want this person to surrender or you're waiting for this person to surrender. Um, there is five of cups in the spread, so I feel like there is some regret here. Either you or this person is having regret. Um, just to let you know, this is not, I don't know if it's you, Scorpio, <coughs> or it's this person, but it's, the energy is not good. I feel like this was someone who was playing games, like they were play, playing passionate games, like they, sex was a game to them, being intimate was a game to them, to you, with you, um... But overall, the universe is going to give you an emotional opportunity, like a really nice, feel-good opportunity. Um, but there may be an earth sign in the mix of it. Or it could be that it's an earth sign that you want this opportunity with, but it's not. They're, they're, this person is too far from you. So Scorpio, you could be dealing with someone that's very far from you or someone that's online. And it's like, it was like, a, I don't want to say a missed opportunity. It's just, I don't think it was meant to be. Um, so they're telling you to focus on being the king of pentacles, like focus on your money for the next three months. Um, you're going to be on the fence. Like you're going to be a little confused. It's about, yeah, you keep, Scorpio, you're acting like cancer. Don't revisit this again whatever happened between you two people you need to let it go okay because i feel like um one either of you either you or the other person you're not you're not transforming and i need to charge my phone before my phone dies and it's gonna suck um scorpio you're not transforming you're not you're not i feel like you're not listening to the message or you're not listening to the um stick my charger in here you're not listening to the lesson you're not applying the lesson that you learned okay there's like i feel like in this situation you're holding on to something that you should let go of uh because excuse me guys sorry i can't sit there for one hour like it's been an hour already i'm trying to get these readings done and it's like, ah, I need to get up. I need to get up because my back just fell asleep. All right, so. Scorpio. It feels like you're taking an initiative on reflecting. I feel like you're, you're being strategic right now about something. But they're telling you that be strategic, but be strategic when it comes to your money, when you when it comes to your career. Focus on work right now. Love is not in the stars for you right now. The only thing that the stars are showing for you or the cards are showing is that you did have a situation, but you thought it was a soulmate, but unfortunately it wasn't a soulmate, okay? And the sooner you understand that, the sooner you learn that, it'll be easier for you to move on. Like I see the five of cups. It's it's a lot of regret in this situation. A lot of crying over spilled milk. 
either you or the other person treated the other person like badly and someone is feeling guilty of it and they're telling you to let go of it it just kind of like it is what it is type of situation you know let's see what else can we get out of this what else can we see yeah, this person, it could be because this person lives far from you, or this person is emotionally distant from you. You have here where either you want to offer a little cup of emotion to someone, or someone wants to offer you a cup of emotions. Let's see what else is this, but... Someone's way guarded. Someone's too guarded to even let this offer come in. Could be with a Leo... You could have Leo in you. Or this could be a new beginning with someone. A fresh start. Or if it's if, or if it's not applying in love, Scorpio, it could be that you are full with creative ideas. If that's not the case, I feel like, yeah, there's, there's a little, little emotional gesture coming in but you are way too guarded and you're not seeing the truth behind it why not because you're not healed that's why not that's why not. <laughs> you're not look when people yeah you're conflicted you're fighting you're fighting yourself you're being too cold you want to be alone you don't care you can care less for relationships the hell with it you just don't really care. You don't want. You don't want it. I'm sorry. That's all I keep saying. Scorpio don't want shit from no one. Yeah, but that's that's why you're stuck, Scorpio. Get out of this. Get out of this feeling. Okay. So the next three months, Scorpio, you're really gonna have to pull yourself through this feeling of, I don't care. I don't want it. Da da da. da. It's not okay. Look, we know that you don't want it. We know that you don't care right now. But don't say that you're never gonna care again because you do generalist jack of all trades master of none but once you learn how to juggle you really drop the ball look listen to this this applies to you again this is from a book called this will set me free by Kristen michelle elizabeth it's it's a bunch of poems that i'm just like reading to you guys like as they apply um jack of all trades master of none but once you learn how to juggle, you rarely drop the ball. So, Scorpio, this is basically saying, as is, that you know what hurts you, you know what you don't like, apply it. And then when you see that in another individual, the next time you go to date, just don't let that happen. Don't let them in. If they have a lot of red flags, don't open the door. What do you think? Red flag means it's, it's, you could park here? No, red flag means you don't park here. Okay? Even yellow flags, it's a warning, it's a caution. Caution, okay? Caution yourself. Um... Yeah, I'm getting that song in my head for you guys. I don't want to dance again. These dancing feet have got no rhythm. I never want to dance again. Yeah, that song. Guilty feet have got no reason. Some Something like that, but that song. I feel like you don't want to dance again. It's okay, Scorpio. We understand. You can set the season out. You know, it's all right. You don't always have to play. You can, you, you can take the break. You can take a break. It's okay. So it seems like Scorpio, you're gonna be you're gonna be sitting this season out, and once you sit this season out, like you actually sit down and reflect and take a break, I feel like that's when you're gonna start moving forward. Okay. All right, Scorpio. Best of luck to you on that. Uh, so for the next three months, Scorpio, you're gonna be taking a break and focusing on work, and you're gonna be letting go of a certain situation or a place or a person that um, you know that's not working out for you i'm sorry that i didn't work out scorpio but trust me the universe has something better for you okay so don't you dare worry be happy don't worry be happy yeah just do that okay all right what's going on for sagittarius what's up sagittarius yes my fellow sages how's it going guys are you feeling it i've been feeling it bro i've been feeling it I've been feeling it. What I've been feeling, I'm going to keep a secret, Sagittarius. I suggest you keep it a secret, too, because we got a lot of haters in our midst that don't like us, 
that smile in our face, especially people from the past, they want to come back in because they feel like, oh no, why did we do that to Sagittarius? Well, you know what? Fuck you. We don't want to have shit to do with you. Peace out. Bye bye, Felicia. So yeah, so Sagittarius, either um, we, we, we definitely are surrendering to the past in the sense where they're looking at the past like, okay, I gave too many chances to too many people that didn't deserve it, right? There were too many times that we looked at things that people did in the past and we, we overlooked the truth. We purposely saw the truth. No, we purposely buried the truth. Like we knew what this person was doing, but we were like just saying in our head like, oh, please, I hope they stop. I oh, please hope they stop. And when they didn't stop, that's when we revoked all privilege of being in our energy. And good for you, Sag. Good for you. I feel like you removed a lot of people that don't that no longer serve a purpose in your life, um, especially people from the past. I feel like you are moving on uh, onto calmer waters. Like things are about to get smoother for you. Um, but just remember, keep it to yourself. Um, no matter how smooth things get, um, no matter how good things get, just keep it to yourself because people are ridiculous fucking nasty dirty ass people like stay away from them okay i actually don't even want to read you your reading because in case someone is listening you know for sagittarius readings people do that people will listen to readings especially like if i have a hater that's trying to sabotage my like my new beginning or whatever they're gonna be listening to my readings like okay let me write down what's coming for her so i'm gonna say this for sagittarius we're just moving into calmer waters okay all right Sagittarius, we're moving into calmer waters. We're moving away from that earth sign. That earth sign, we're closing the cycle. That's it. Karma done. We closed the cycle. So, Sagittarius, if you had a cycle going with the past, right? If there was someone in your past that kept sabotaging you, you're closing the cycle. By you removing yourself from their energy, by you not engaging with them, by you putting your foot down and saying, I choose me, you're moving forward, okay? So, whatever this person did... Um, they're going to get matched back equally what they did to you. All right. So the next three months, the end of the year is basically you moving forward on the chariot, right? Closing the, the door, right? Closing the karmic cycle, finishing out your karma, moving forward, becoming more emotionally mature, becoming colder to people who don't, who take from you. Like you're not going to give anymore. It's like basically kind of saying like, okay. Sagittarius, you need to call your power back. Let's call our power back. I call my power back and energy back from all those people, places, and things that have been stealing my energy and my power without my consent or my, without my acknowledgement. I call it back to me right now. So it is. So mode it be. So mode it be. I call all that power back. Just keep calling your power back for the next three months, Sagittarius, because I feel like there is someone, um, this earth sign right here, that was kind of getting in the, in the middle of you laying down your groundwork to build your empire, and I feel like the universe just kicked this person out. Um, or just recently kick this person out, whatever this person was trying to do, it's not working. Um, and again, because you removed your energy, you removed yourself from this person, um, what ended up happening is uh, you automatically closed the door on karma and you walked away. Just walk away, Sagittarius. Anybody from the past message you, text you, just don't answer, okay? New, 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 okay, Sag? New, new, new. Because if you go towards new energy, you won't be stuck in your head this person won't be able to put you in a box and whatever you're manifesting will start coming true okay so whatever you're manifesting is going to start coming into fruition um because you walked away from this person all right this was someone that was laying under the radar like this person was like just being really nasty behind your back but then i something happened right something happened and you saw the truth okay because you saw the truth, because you balanced yourself, you balanced your emotions, you healed your emotions, you let go of the, the burden, right? You, you, and you move forward. You were like, fuck it, it is what it is. I'm gonna keep working on myself. No matter what is going on, I'm gonna not, I'm gonna not stop believing that I could do this. Because Sagittarius, you believed in yourself and you believed in the light and you believed in God, things are gonna start working out for you, okay? You gotta understand, children of God, don't mess with them. Okay, if you're a child of God, let me tell you something. You are heavily protected. Because even God looks at these people and says, how dare you mess with my child? And if that other person is like, well, I'm your child too. Yeah, you're both my children. But, but Sagittarius called me. What did you call? You called on sinister beings. You called on beings that went against me, child. If you would have called on me, I would have helped you too. But Sagittarius called on me when this happened to them. What did you do? 
earth sign what did you do who did you call on you called on the most sinister of sinister beings that go against me and my kingdom and if you go against me and my kingdom and my child then i am going to be there to protect my child because that's a promise i made to my child when i put them out there in that world amongst you fucking wolves bam there we go i preached enough for sunday so sagittarius don't worry do not worry do not do anything that's going to pull you away from god the closer you stick with god Saj, right the closer you stick with whatever you believe in buddha god john jacob jingleheimer smith whoever you believe in if that person is of divine light and divine source that per that you know that that being is a creator that being is a light being you're going to keep moving forward okay because you're a light warrior Sagittarius, you're a light warrior, and there's going to be a lot of demons. There's going to be a lot of dark people. Not dark people as in dark complexion. I'm dark skinned myself, so be off of that. I'm talking about dark energy. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to gravitate towards your dark energy, and, and, and you're going to trigger them. They're, it's going to, they're going to get bothered by it. Like, why? Why does Sagittarius shine so bright? Why? Because Sagittarius loves God. Sagittarius loves the, the creator. Sagittarius loves the light. Sagittarius is a light seer okay naturally born light seer so you can't mess with the children of the kingdom okay so sagittarius don't worry about it no matter what this person throws at you it is not going to work because all you had to do was walk away because you walked away god was like okay now now you're fine because i have to understand i have to make you understand something sagittarius if someone is doing something wrong in front of you and you're sitting with them you're just as wrong so if you knew that this person was being this way to you, like, you know, being nasty behind your back or backstabbing you and you kept talking to them, either to get information or to be vengeful or whatever, that's not how you do it. You walk away. You, you do the takeaway. You do the takeaway. I'm out. Now you don't even have the privilege of being in my energy. I'm out. So that's what you did, Sagittarius, and that's exactly what helped you, okay? So now this King of Pentacles, this Queen of Pentacles, they can't do anything. They can throw whatever they want. They can huff and puff till they're blue. God will take care of them, okay? All right, Sagittarius, yes. Good for you. Next up, we got Capricorn. What's going on with our Capricorns? Capricorns. I know a lot of Capricorns right now are focused on money, and they're looking for justice. Capricorn, you're going to get your justice, but... Your justice is going to come soon as you let go of some negative and toxic patterns, okay? There's some toxicity, Capricorn, that's around you, and you need to surrender to the fact that you acknowledge that there's toxicity around you, because now that you know there's toxicity around you, and if you don't move forward, it's only going to end up hurting you, okay? As um, soon as you move forward from this toxic person or this toxic thought or this situation, um, there is... Um, a collaboration that the universe has for you there's people that want to work with you capricorn and all you have to do is just walk away from this this existing situation that you're in right now that's not working for you and um put a rest to it don't don't be so dependent on the outcome of where you are right now let it go let it go to the universe and you'll start moving forward okay yep yeah, because you're closing a cycle capricorn you are closing a cycle yay congratulations capricorn I love it when I see the Wheel of Fortune because it tells me you're leveling up. So Capricorn, you are leveling up. Once you let go of this this, this obsession, this addiction, uh, this negative behavior, this toxic pattern that you have, um, it will move you forward and you will be able to close the cycle. I think the cycle that you need to close is you need to realize that you have a codependency issue with something or someone um, and you need to surrender to that and move forward from it, okay? Because that's the only way you're going to get your justice is once you realize um, that, okay, maybe I am too dependent on this situation. Maybe it's coffee. If you're trying to lose weight, you know, weight, maybe it's the food that you eat. Um, it could be toxic for you. Um, or maybe it's the people that you're around, or maybe you're at work and you keep doing everything and, and, and making yourself sick and that's toxic, you know? Understand Capricorn, it's okay to let other people help you. But I definitely see you moving on from situations and places and things that are not good for you, right? You're moving on and I see hope coming back. I feel like you're gonna get recognized. I feel like you're gonna feel hopeful. You, it's like you have a blast of, of literally of, of this confidence coming in and this and money coming in for you okay so again all you got to do is walk away from the burdens give the burdens up to the universe um and just kind of manifest manifest um all the good things with some good intentions and things will start working out for you okay what is this magician card okay 
So if there is magic involved, um, whoever is doing the magic um, no longer has control over the magic. So a Capricorn, if it's you doing magic or if there's someone doing magic on you, the control is being taken away. The universe is stepping in and they're going to judge the situation, okay? So if someone did you wrong, Capricorn, and you're sitting there lighting candles to get back at them, um, they're saying don't do that because the universe will take care of it um, because that is basically not being um, spiritual. It's not being God-loving. It's not being, you know... A light being so if you're a capricorn that's a light being um there is no reason for you to throw back magic or to retaliate because god will take care of it for you because ja literally the universe and the heavens are judging the situation right now this could be someone from your past um it could be someone that is a spiritualist or a practitioner um or this could be you you're the practitioner capricorn and they're saying that just just surrender you i literally don't need to do anything the universe will take care of it um you may not be seeing that as the truth right now but one two three four five six seven give it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten weeks ten days ten weeks ten hours you will see the truth in this situation and you will become the queen of cups okay being the queen of cups is that you're emotionally mature um, you're understanding who you are and your emotions and you're, you're becoming in tune with with everything around you because you know what um, I see this confusing thing this confusion thing going on for you Cap Capricorn the reason why this confusion thing is going on because you need to step into your power and you need to step into your own body you need to realize that you know there is a cause and effect and once you stop responding all the things will stop Stop reacting and stop responding everything will stop okay like if someone did you wrong let it go let the universe take care of it if you did someone wrong, the universe is going to come for you, okay? So just remember that. Anything else for Capricorn? Again, guys, sometimes these readings are straightforward. Some of them I have to go into more explanation. So it's not because I like one sign more than the other. It's, it's basically the information that I get and what you need to hear, okay? Let's not have that immature mentality like, oh, why is her sign five minutes and then my sign was like 15 minutes? Let's not be immature, people. Oh, my God. I'm going to be hungry. I'm going to eat after this. All right. Anything else for Capricorn? Anything else for Capricorn? Anything else? Yeah, Capricorn, three of Pentacles. Someone admires you. Someone wants to work with you. But you are a little bit too guarded. Uh, put the guards down. Um, listen, you're not also, also you're not listening to your intuition. Please listen to your intuition. You are the one, the only one that's stopping this transformation from happening, okay? So if there is someone that you want to come into your life, um, you are the one stopping it because you're not listening to intuition. And um, you are not, um, you're, you're too guarded, okay? Like, you're too closed in. So they're asking you to please transform from that. Like, let it end because you're you're avoiding transformation you're, you're let you're not letting something die capricorn and you really need to let it go for the next three months or else it's just going to get worse for you okay worse in the sense it's going to start affecting your money it's going to start affecting your health your mental health so whatever it is they're asking you to please be like the nine of pentacles nine of pentacles is basically just being free you know worrying about you worrying about your money taking care of you nine of pentacles to me is a very independent person so because you're not being that way, there's a lot of conflict around you or you're, or you're competing with something. Because you're competing with something, that's what's causing the, the stagnation, okay? All right, that's for you guys. But don't worry, justice is coming. You're going to get out of this regret moment. You're going to get out of your head because you're going to get the justice that you deserve, okay? All right, see, look, God is not, he's not one-sided. He takes care of all of his kids. Someone did you wrong, they will get theirs. You did someone wrong, you're going to get yours. That's why I constantly say, good intentions produce good results. Bad intentions produce bad results. All right, guys? So that's pretty much straightforward for Capricorn. Let's move on to Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius? And we got one more sign. Yes, and then I'm done. Oh, I hate you guys. I really do. I don't know why I got myself into this. I mean, I've been literally sitting here for like an hour and almost two hours. It's an hour and 38 minutes. Ah, but I love you guys. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right, what's going on with Aquarius? What's going on with Aquarius? What's going on with Aquarius? Aquarius, Aquarius, you are feeling confident. You are in your elements right now. Awesome, good stuff. You're also being very cautious. That's good. What, but what is this? Why are you hopeless? Why do you feel hopeless and, and defeated and you don't want to take a journey? Oh, because you want to go back to something. All right, so even though you're feeling good, you're looking good, you're being a little uh-uh, 
Like, okay, maybe I shouldn't go there. But I do feel like this energy around you could be you, could be someone else. Um, they don't want to do anything because they want you back, Scorpio. Scorpio. Ah, Aquarius. Aquarius, you could be dealing with a Scorpio that wants you back. Just putting it out there. Go listen to Scorpio's reading. Um, but yeah, you. this person wants to come back to you. Or you want to go back to someone. But they're in their head. They're very confused. They keep going back and forth in their head. I feel like this person deletes the messages as they're about to. They, they send messages and then they delete them. Okay? And I do see this person is around other person. Other This person is around other person. This person is around other people um, that might be, like, talking shit to them about you, Aquarius. So, as I say that, the lawnmower starts. Um... Really, really, we went a whole freaking hour and a half without this shit. See, if somebody doesn't want me to give this reading to you. Oh, oh, it's going away. Okay, good, good, good. Go away. Please go away so I can give this reading to, uh, to Aquarius. So, Aquarius, you could be dealing with a Scorpio that um, wants to apologize, but I feel like they, this, this other person, right, that wants to come back to you, um, they have to deal with these people that are in their life that are telling them that no, not to talk to you. All right. Yeah. Th this person feels like it, it, this, it's not going to work with you guys because, um, Aquarius, you're very, very like protected. You're very guarded. You're like your spirit guides and, and God is protecting you so much or you are protecting yourself so much that you have so many boundaries that this person cannot see. They can't come back in. They're, they're in their head. They're trying to like come up with a new way to try to approach you <laughs> good luck back to the drawing board but um um i keep wanting to say scorpio it could be a fucking scorpio aquarius fuck it i'm gonna just say it this scorpio right the scorpio wants to come back to you because they either want to sabotage you aquarius because they're mad things didn't work out for them and they're mad that things are about to work out for you because you're sitting here in your light and all your glory and totally protected by the heavens and the thing is you know what they're mad that you be listening to your uh, intuition aquarius someone is hella pissed that you be listening to your intuition man i say everybody listen to your intuition okay because uh aquarius you're over here just hanging out doing your thing you're um you're waiting on something aquarius and it's gonna come and it's gonna come through um because you are done with this person this you're yeah you're done with this person i don't know who the hell this person is i keep calling him scorpio but this scorpio was trying to get back in and i don't i don't think it's gonna happen nope you're done you're not gonna surrender to this person you're not you're like you know every time you think about this situation aquarius it gives you a headache so you know who i'm talking about every time you think about this person you get a fucking headache like, or this situation is a headache. Like, we have this thing that we say, ya Like, man, that's a headache. Like, stay away from it. Yeah, you're not regretting anything anymore. You're past the regret stage, Aquarius. It's this person who's regretting shit. You're so closed off. Like, you're like this. Anybody coming my way hurts me, I'm breaking their face. So you're really on guard. You don't want their apology. You don't want nothing from them. This person actually, this person wants to marry you. Ha, <laughs> ha. Or they want to stop a marriage from happening. Either way, this person is not good. And they're trying to get back in your good graces. But you done moved on. Like, you took the 6.30 train and you were out. And this person got there at 8 o'clock. That, like, that train left like two hours ago, buddy. No. And there's no train going there. Like, you're done. You're done. You're done. Okay? Like, you're done. I just have to say that again. You're done. Whoever is fucking with Aquarius, you're done. Because Aquarius has moved on. Aquarius has left the building like Elvis, okay? Peace out. Sayonara. Game show. All right. It's like, come summon that. Peace out. Any other message for Aquarius? Any other message for Aquarius? Yeah, Aquarius. Um, someone could have been throwing magic at you. Um, could have been throwing magic at your new start. But it's not working. The person who probably was throwing magic at you is in their head now. Like, yeah, they got rejected there totally rejected done out goodbye yep it's not working whatever they're doing is not working could have been an air uh could have been a pentacles oh could have been a pentacle could have been a queen of pentacles earth sign a person who embodies earth energy um this person is upset that you guys are not friends anymore there's they, they can't reach you anymore they're upset that they cannot get to your energy anymore so good for you aquarius i am liking this anything else yeah this person you know what it is 
they they're not receiving love from their family or their friends and i think they're using you as the escape goat aquarius like they're mad that you have it that you have people around you that love you that you have people around you that care about you and that everything is going good for you ah look at this look at this shit i see this is why i don't like people this is why i don't trust people because you could be living your best life and they could be some snake ass motherfucker in the grass looking at your gains like why she got that why does she have that you know like the snake the stuff why she's the one why is he getting all of this like bitch if you don't fucking get out of my grass you know what i mean yeah this person is from the past aquarius to close that door on the past could be a virgo could be a virgo or a scorpio could be a scorpio with the virgo sun or a scorpio rising with a virgo moon or some shit be careful aquarius again keep your mouth shut don't tell people about what the fuck's going on with you shit like yo seriously elope if you're thinking about getting married aquarius elope don't even send nobody no fucking wedding invitation because there are people waiting for your downfall aquarius like why though why are people like that why do people like that exist they should have been swallowed like if you hating on someone else's happiness why like when you die what are you gonna tell god oh i hated jenny's happiness because i wasn't happy i'm gonna be like what is wrong with you like where the fuck did you call i created you i i created you i didn't create you like that what the fuck happened to you down there like guys stop hating on other people's happiness the only thing that's going to happen is you're never going to be happy. But then again, there's some people out there that are miserable who don't care to be happy. That's why they be stealing other people's happiness. Shit. Like, what is wrong with you? Yeah. Like, somebody's like, no, I don't want you talking about that. I'm going to make them lawn more louder. louder. No, I'm going to get louder, bitch. Stop hating on people's happiness. Yeah. Um, Scor um Scorpio. Oh. Damn it, I call my power back from Scorpio's reading right now. And my energy back from Scorpio's reading right now. So, Aquarius, there are good things coming for you. Don't worry about it. Just don't tell anybody, okay? You want to email me and, and DM me and tell me about it? That's fine, because I don't hate on people's happiness. Because I know sometimes things happen, Aquarius, and you want to go shout it off at the mountaintop. Like, I love chocolate, but you can't. Because there's going to be some hater that's going to be like, I don't want her and chocolate together. What? Her and chocolate? But why? Some people are just natural mean girls. The hell with that. I throw people like that into the oblivion. I block my, my energy from those people. Like, I block those people the fuck out. All right, Aquarius, that's what's going on for you for the rest of the three months. You're going to be moving out, moving fine. Yeah, you could be moving out from somewhere. Again, when you move to this new location, don't tell the people... Don't tell anybody from your past where you moved. Or don't tell anybody that you feel that way, that throws negative energy at you. Just, you know what? Block all individuals that make you feel funny. Deal? Deal. All right. Last but not least, and I'm so fucking tired, but I still have energy, is Pisces. What is going on with Pisces? How many minutes are we at? A min an hour and 47 minutes. Damn, guys, I've been at this for two hours. So Pisces is this. Pisces is this. I can't even talk about that. Pisces, what's going on with Pisces for the next three months? I guess this is why I break them up and do them one by one. Because me sitting down doing them all together, fuck. It's about two hours. Uh, let's go, Pisces. What's going on with Pisces? Pisces, another one? Someone throwing magic at you too? What the fuck? Yeah, Pisces, uh, someone threw magic and separated you from your person that you love. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Someone separated you guys. The seeds that you planted, somebody came in and was like, let me piss on these seeds until they never grow. Uh, who is this person? Is someone in your family, Pisces? I'm so sorry about that. Um, they're telling you, while you're in separation, keep your feelings to yourself. Um, the emotions that you have for this person that you like or that you care about, um, they're guarded, okay? Either the person is guarded or you're keeping your feelings guarded. Um, according to the seeds that you're planting in your manifestations, they're telling you to listen to your intuition. This person who was a dark energy around you or this obsessive, toxic person, they're no longer a burden anymore. They're going to be moved out of your way. And I got the moon card. Sorry for burping, guys, but I had to. I got the moon card. Um, moon card is to me, upside down, is no more confusion. 
um, because you are, you're not going to take it no more, Pisces. You're like, you know what, off with your head. If you feel anything is off, you're getting rid of that person, okay? You're totally getting rid of the person or a situation that does not feel right anymore. So the next three months, you're going to be clearing out your energy from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. Good for you, Pisces. Good for you. This is, yo, can I just take a minute here? What was I just saying? People hating on other people's happiness. Pisces, this is someone, this is a family member. This is a person, this is, is this someone close to you? This was either someone you lived with, someone you dated, someone you were married to, someone you have a kid with. This person is throwing hella hate at you. Okay? So while you're doing whatever you're doing right now, I have a feeling you're like, you're not being active right now. You're chilling out. You're like hiding somewhere. Or like you, you're away from this person. Just keep quiet. Okay? Keep quiet. Don't tell anybody anything. Um, regarding your feelings, I feel like, um, yeah, I don't want to say it just in case someone is watching for Pisces, like trying to get information out. But if someone's watching for Pisces, you need to understand that Pisces is completely guarded, okay? God is watching over Pisces, the angels are watching over Pisces, and your feelings, um, so don't worry. What they're saying is, Pisces, just listen to your intuition and keep manifesting that new beginning. Because whoever is this person that's trying to sabotage you, it's not going to work. It's not. No. I feel like the tables have turned because I think we're becoming more aware and we're learning how to fight back magic and evil intentions and negative energy. I feel like that's why it's not working anymore. Also, I, let me tell you guys something. You know when you start doing spiritual work, like you start meditating, you start doing yoga, you start hanging out with animals, you know, you start hanging out with nature, you start taking care of nature, you start planting plants, you start watering plants. You start talking to your body nicely. That is called spiritual work. Okay, that is called spiritual work. And you know what happens? When you do the spiritual work, your ancestors and your spirit guides start helping you. It's not, okay, I'm not saying that they go away. They're always with us, okay? But it's harder for them to help us if we're inebriated all the time, we're eating junk food, we're hanging out with toxic energy, we're around people that don't serve us or people that are not on our frequency on our level. Basically, low-level people, the, the spirit guides can't get through to you. They're trying to get through to you. They're trying to talk to you, but you can't hear them because you're you're with people that are obstructing the, uh, like the auditory um, that's coming in from your spirit guides. So once you isolate yourself from people like this, once you start eating right, once you start actually paying attention to what you're putting inside of your body and your soul, you start hearing the spirit guides. So it's not like, oh, where were you? Why weren't you helping me? 3.43 on the clock. It's not like they, they're like, oh, you know, like we left you when you were going. No, they're still there and they're still helping you around the clock, 24 hours, 3.65. You know, they're helping you. It's just that you can't hear them. So Pisces, once you remove yourself from this situation, 3.44 on the clock, damn it. Once you remove yourself from this situation or this person, you're going to start hearing your spirit guides and your spirit guides are going to be protecting you even more. Now, you're going to be able to hear how they want you to protect you. Our spirit guides are protecting us, but there are ways we can protect ourselves. And each individual, just like our, our handprints and our thumbprints, they're individual, right? All handprints are unique and individual. That's how all of our protection is. Not two people have the same type of protection. Why? Because if that was the case, anybody can enter into their energy. Just like all houses have different keys, 344 still on the, on the clock. All houses have different keys because you need different keys to unlock these doors. So just like you or three other people in the room beside you have different protection because each person is individually different and unique. So in the past, this person may have been getting away with throwing shit at you because you were doing toxic shit, Pisces, but I feel like you're no longer living in toxic. 345 on the clock 345 wow bro the synchronicities are just ridiculous right now pisces pay attention to the clock okay it's like they're talking to you just like they're talking to me right now you know they're basically saying because you removed yourself from toxic situations and toxic behavior and toxic patterns and toxic people that's why you got protected and that's why you're going to continue having protection and no matter what this person is throwing or doing it ain't gonna fucking work okay like that song Selena Gomez. Some shit like that, guys. I don't know. Look it up. If you remember it, leave it in the comments. 
So yeah, Pisces, that's your reading. You're fine. You're guarded. You're protected. Your shit's gonna grow. Don't worry. Okay, so whatever this person is doing from your family that's wanting to cause this heartbreak in your life, cause these these painful moments to come into your why would you do that to someone? Like, oh my god, that's so mean. Like, what is wrong with fucking people? Oh, I'm going to wish bad on them. Oh, I want their heart to break. Man, God's going to turn around and reflect that shit right back at you. Return to sender, Pisces. Return to sender. Return to sender. Whatever you send to me, I send it back to you times three, wrapped in peace, love, light, and divine justice. Anybody sending any negative or ill intentions or negativity or anything that's harmful towards what's aligned for me and, and what's good for me, I return it back to you times three, wrapped in peace, love, light, and divine justice. So Mota B, there you go. Just keep saying that. If you need to repeat it in this video, go ahead. Repeat it as much as you want. But yeah, good will always win. Light will always shine through the darkness. And Pisces, that's your reading. Wow, people are just evil. Like, I seriously saw it. Like, they don't want you to win, Pisces. They want you to be brokenhearted. They want you to be miserable. But like, why though? Like, what did, the, what did this person get out of this? I look, listen. Death for people like that. Because mm -mm. I would say, you know, like these people, you know, if they believe in God, they'd be they'd be afraid of God. But I forgot we live in a time period where people really don't believe in God. Hence, they do what they do. But I just I, you know what? I don't even feel bad for people like that. You get what you deserve. May you have the day that you deserve. OK. And on that note, I'm going to call it quits and I'm going to go get something to eat. Guys, let me know. Um, I am going to do another reading and it's going to be more of a collective general, uh, generalized reading. It's going to be like what type of love is coming in. No, what type of love? What love is coming in and what good things are coming in. I'll be posting that in the next couple of days or I might post it up tonight if I'm not doing anything. But yeah, man, listen, take care of yourselves. Take care of your little animals. Take care of your babies. Take care of the people that love you. Okay. If somebody loves you and you love them, go the extra mile for them work hard for them protect them protect yourselves and all these other people these irrelevant undesirable people block them out your energy okay Mwah. i love you guys take care see you next time around